Hi, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a flat brush design using a number 14, a magic flat brush, and a number 10, and then a fine liner by Westonia. All these items are going to be listed down below with affiliate links if you'd like to purchase through those, feel free to do so. All the paint I use is folk art paint mixture of the surface and enamels. I'm going to be using teal, thicket, wicker white, aqua, teal topaz, pale yellow, yellow ochre, and happy green. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be using the number 14 in Magic paintbrush first. I'm going to dip one side into, I have to remember all these names, teal, and then one side into the white and the pale yellow, and just do some light blending strokes. And as I'm painting, I will just keep adding in more paint as I go. All right, again, I'm not real particular about loading the brush. Typically, you should have your paint loaded three quarters of the way up the bristle, but I don't always stick with that. All right, so let's get started. Now, I'm going to begin, I'm doing this on the chisel edge and I'm going to push down and pull towards the center. All right, and make my floral design going this way, just towards the center. You can space them out, or you can put them together, you know, more if you want. That's up to you. Now I'm going to turn and go this way, have the more of the yellow coming in from the outer to the inside like that if you're new to my channel uh, please feel free to leave any kind of comments or questions down below the video I would appreciate that my designs are intended to be very simple and that is just to ensure that people can paint and feel successful at doing so. This is a very relaxing hobby. And I'm just rotating the colors just to kind of uh, show a little bit of more interest you and you can make them different sizes too as, as you're creating they don't all have to be the same because obviously in nature we have different stages of blooming and note to oh, kind of over, over across there that if you don't put as much pressure your petals are thinner But if you push down, they're thicker. So you can vary those also just to give it more interest. But this is a very colorful design, and I think I'll just do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that actually is my, I like to do odd numbers. So I'm gonna stop with that as far as creating the designs. I'm going to take the same brush, dip the handle into the yellow ochre, and I am just going to tap and I want it to be just a rough, and I want it to be a perfect circle. I just want it to be kind of, oh yeah, I want it to be irregular, not just round. Just showing you different types of centers. I mean, 
They just don't have to be difficult in order for it to be pretty. I guess that's my whole point. And also too, when you're painting on glass, it's very important that you get good coverage with your paint that, like say some of these are transparent, I would go back over them again. Sometimes as it dries, it gets a little bit more transparent, even though it may seem to be opaque at the time. Reason being is that if you get good coverage, it's gonna be a more durable design. All right, I'm gonna go to my fine liner, stick my bristles into those, and then I'm just going to lightly come through here, putting in a stem as I go, and I don't like to have straight stems. I like them to have a little wiggle to them. And then we go like that. And then just place place it wherever it makes sense. And I like to go over them just to give them more color and more thickness. I didn't mean to go over that one like that, but I did. Alright, then I always like to add in some extra little pieces here to paint designs on. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I go over them again just to make them a little thicker, make them show up a little better. Alright, and if you want to pull out this way, you can even more. Up to you. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take my number 10 flat brush, put it into the greens, do my blending strokes, and go back and forth. Some people do a lot of blending. I just, I'm impatient, so I just go back and forth. And you can add, you know, yellow in it, you can add white up to you. Alright, so on this next one, what I'm going to do is take my brush on the chisel edge again and pull towards the stem. And I can add in more color as I go. And it's just just a, more of a filler, kind of a branch. Filler leaves. And I like my leaves, so that's why I do a lot of them. And then I'm going to come out here. Let's see here, because I don't want them all on the same side. Again, it's just very simple. Just pull towards the center. Pull towards. Nothing difficult about that. You can you know, turn your brush different directions to add in more color and I'm going to leave a little bit of the stems showing and you'll see why here in a minute I can come up here I'm going to come up here and just add some more of this in now when you're getting a brush this is one what one thing I like to try to encourage people to do is to sit down and try to see what kind of designs you can create with that type of brush because this is you know, on the chisel edge. Yes, I can do some of this with my round brushes. Do some of the same with my, you know, filberts. But you just, by sitting down and actually trying them out and see what kind of designs you can create with them, it just gives it you know, a little more interest. 
and you can create different styles. Obviously this brush is very versatile, but I'm finding I really like my um, brown brushes. I really never had that much interest in them until recently. So I'm just adding over, just kind of layering a little bit. Again, this just kind of gives it a little more like, oh, okay. It's not just the straight fillers. And you can add some in here too. I could even have done a couple little strokes in here of this style if I had chosen to. But I just decided to do what I'm showing you. And you know, I can come on even with this a little bit. Come over this way. <clears throat> I keep turning my bottle. Go like that. If you get too much paint in your brush as you're painting, just wipe it off. I wouldn't take the time to wash it. I would prefer just to wipe it off and have it. So I can just put some out here too, just to make it kind of balance it a little bit. Then what I do is take my liner brushes, put them back into the greens. I can even add some light if I want. And I'm going to come through here and put in some stems. So I got a little bit too white for me. Come like this, just very lightly. That makes sense. You, you connect them to the stem. I keep dipping into the white. It gets too white. I don't like that. So I go like that. Go like that. I'll we'll just have it make sense by adding in some stems like that. Now, the last thing that you can do, I'm gonna wipe my brush off a little bit, and this is just what I'm gonna do next, is just gonna give it some color. Take this, the Teal Topaz, which is a metallic color, it has metals in it. It's gonna just dip, I didn't clean my brush, I just wiped it off, but I'm gonna come through here and just add some color. If you don't like this part, then leave it out. To me, it's just adding in a little bit more color to the design. And there you go. Sorry, just hit the camera. And just kind of showing you. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just keep it light. I'm going to take my fine liner again, dip it into the aqua, and then this is what I'm going to use to make my little stems into these leaves. Again, whatever I create, if there's a part that you don't like, just leave it out. Make the design yours. Use it as an inspiration and you're good to go. All right, there you have it. Easy peasy. Anybody can do this. I, again, try to make it simple for you. And you can always, as your painting skills develop, make it a little bit more challenging. You know, add your touch to it. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Before leaving, please take a moment to share this video on your social network to your family and friends. Just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video. It'll give you the options of where to share it and you're good. Thanks again for stopping by and until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.